Another important characteristic of a wave is frequency. So in this video we are going to learn what it is. When a vibration of a wave takes place, it follows a cyclical pattern. So there are cycles. As you've seen it several times earlier that when a string is vibrating, it is vibrating back and forth following a cycle. So it makes several round trips. So it starts at the equilibrium. Equilibrium is when it's at rest and when the force is applied, it starts to vibrate and it goes one way all the way till the extreme as much as its energy allows it to go then it comes back to its original position to the equilibrium it just passes does not stop here it just passes through the equilibrium and moves to the opposite direction and then it goes to the opposite direction till as far as its energy allows it to go and then it comes back to the equilibrium point okay and this process goes on and on and on so this whole round trip of the vibration from one and one extreme through the equilibrium to the next extreme to the other extreme and back this thing is called one cycle okay as you can see we start at the equilibrium one extreme that makes the peak of the wave and the other extreme that makes the trough of the wave and back to the equilibrium so this round trip of the string vibrating string or any vibrating body or this round trip of the waveform is known as the cycle okay it's called a cycle okay so whenever there is a wave or a vibration there are several cycles okay every second there are several times this going back and forth uh, takes place. Having said that, let's watch this. All right, so I'm pretty sure you figured out what happened. Again, this illustration consists of two parts. In the first part, it was the original that we saw before. Okay, now here the string is vibrating at certain speed. Okay, it's going back and forth, back and forth at certain speed. Then all of a sudden, something happens. The string changed, changed its speed of vibration. Okay, now the string at this part, in this part, the string is vibrating at much faster rate. Okay, it's vibrating more rapidly compared to this. Compare this, it's vibrating slower, and here it's vibrating more rapidly. Now, what it, what happens when it's vibrating rapidly? The peaks and troughs are forming rapidly, as you can see here. Okay, so in other words, we could say that here there are fewer cycles in a given period of time. Okay, usually we measure these cycles in seconds. So here we could say that per second there are fewer cycles, but here per second there are more cycles because uh, it's vibrating faster, so it's completing more cycles every second. So this is what frequency is. So frequency is the number of cycles per second. Okay, let's write it down. What is frequency? Frequency is the number of cycles per second and it's measured in Hertz H-E-R-T-Z okay Hertz is the unit of measurement of, of uh, frequency of waves 
okay and in short we write hertz like this capital h and small z hertz okay so number of cycles that the wave is completing every second that is what frequency is which we measure in hertz for example if there is a sound and uh, the sound has let's say 100 vibrations every second it's wiggling back and forth 100 times we would say the frequency of that sound is 100 hertz okay fair enough all right what you see in front of you are two waveforms two simple waveforms and what's the difference can you tell what's the difference between the two well very simply the difference is in frequency the first one this one has a has a lower frequency why because if we consider let's say if we consider this portion of time duration as one second okay this x-axis let's say this represents one second okay this this slice represents one second of sound so how many cycles Roughly how many cycles this wave is completing in this period of time? Peak, trough, back. Now this point is one cycle. This is one cycle. Okay, let's uh, pick up another color. Okay. Okay, let's pick up a orange. Okay, so this point here, this, okay. This part is one cycle this is one cycle okay so this part here is another cycle so how many cycles this wave is doing every second one cycle peak trough and back peak trough and back so this is doing two cycles in one second we can say the frequency of this is two hertz what about this now here let's assume that this wave represents this part of the wave represents the same time duration which is one second okay let's assume it represents the same one second of time duration which would be one second okay. so how many cycles is this completing in in one second let's see there is one cycle here peak trough and back this is one cycle okay this point is one cycle peak trough and back this point is another cycle peak trough and back this point is another cycle peak trough and back this point is another cycle so approximately this wave is doing one two three four four cycles per second so here the vibrations are happening much more rapidly as compared to this guy so here the frequency would be one two three and four four what four hertz why because we measure the frequency in number of cycles per second so this wave has a frequency of four hertz and this wave has frequency of two hertz okay notice one more thing when the frequency increases what happens to the distance between two points two peaks or two troughs what happens to the distance okay let's take a peak the peaks of the first wave okay let's say uh, this point here and this point here Now, if we measure this distance from this point to this point, and we do the same thing for this wave, take any point at the peak of one wave, one, one, one peak, and another point on another peak, and let's draw a line between the two and measure the distance. Okay, now if you measure the distance from peak to peak in this, and you measure the distance from peak to peak in this what we what do we find we find that this distance is higher it's longer okay this distance is shorter so 
the distance between peaks or troughs decreases as the frequency increases and this distance we've got a term for this distance this distance is called wavelength uh oh wavelength this distance is called wavelength okay again this distance this distance is called wavelength so what is wavelength wavelength is the distance between two adjacent peaks or two adjacent troughs in a wave and there's a relationship we can clearly see a relationship between the wavelength and the frequency where is the longer wavelength in the first waveform right here in the top waveform the wavelength is clearly longer this distance is greater than this distance right so longer wavelength but the frequency is low the frequency is 2 hertz here the frequency is more 4 hertz and wavelength is shorter so we this gives us a, a very very important insight okay what insight do we get the insight is that longer that higher the frequency shorter the wavelength let me write it down over here uh oh higher the frequency shorter the wavelength the okay so it's one and the same thing so either when whenever you talk about frequencies so you can say high frequency or you could say shorter wavelength or you can say low frequency or you could say longer wavelength saying wavelength longer wavelength or low frequency is one and the same thing likewise saying um higher frequency or shorter wavelength is one and the same thing so don't get confused if you come across these two terms interchangeably okay the only thing that you need to remember here is that there is an opposite relationship between the frequency and the wavelength as can be seen in these illustrations okay so what good is frequency why do we need to know how many cycles there are in a wave well as we already know that amplitude affects some characteristic of sound which is loudness so higher the amplitude higher the loudness likewise frequency also affects sound in certain way in what way does the frequency affect the sound that is what we are going to learn in our next video